scam baiting. I mean, this is a big internet phenomenon, isn't it? Yes, there's lots of websites that are out there. Of course, the best one is 419hell.com. Uh, right, which is the one that you run, of course. Of course! Uh, 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 but, but yeah, this is, a, this is a big thing where people basically uh, digging these people around. It amazes me that people fall for it. It's kind of shocking, though, because obviously the people that would fall for it would be the most vulnerable people in society. Uh, I mean, one of the things uh, that I often wonder is when you're, when you're baiting a scammer, at what point do you think, all right, that's too far, that's too silly. There's no way they're going to hold up a big sign saying frequently asked questions in order to join the Holy Orb Church. Do you know, Neil, at what point do you think, ah, oh, that's too far, that's not going to happen? Uh, I think it would go too far if, if you would do something that would cause them to die. Yeah. Like, if you would send them uh, poisonous bubble gum or a cigar with arsenic in it, okay, those kind of things, I think, uh, go beyond uh, what's what is uh, morally acceptable. Uh, other than that, other than things that are fatal, uh, I don't think you need to pull your punches with these guys. Anything you can come up with that costs them money or wastes their time or humiliates them or makes them feel bad, um, that I, I'm all for. Uh, there's something called freight baiting where you trick the scammer into paying for heavy boxes of junk. For example, you tell him you're going to send him a computer that he pays with a fake check, and instead of sending him the computer, you send him a box full of toasters or something. Uh, yeah, yeah. And that, that can be uh, very expensive. I, I've yet to be able to do that. I, I love freight baiting. Other uh, baiters have been able to do it, but that's uh, one type of bait that I just can't master. I see. You've got a little person in the background helping out with scams as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one of the benefits of being a webmaster uh, is you can stay at home and, and take care of your kids. Yeah. You can have one. And, and is it he or she? It, it's a little girl named Victoria. Okay, Victoria's helping out with the scam, then. <laughs> yes. <That's good. laughs> well, actually, every once in a while you can hear her in the background either crying or talking. Uh, uh, on about, I think, one out of every three of my uh, recordings, you can hear her in the background. And yeah. it sounds like I'm a terrible father because she's screaming in the background, but she's just a very loud child. Right, so Victoria has worldwide fame already. She just doesn't realize that Calvin Huckle's daughter in the background helping out with the scams there. That's right. I, I, like, I like that. So, um, so uh, yeah, what about, I mean, what about things... Are you ever, are you, you must be consistently amazed at the kind of stuff these scammers will do in order to rip you off. Yes, they will, they are the uh, worst people that you probably will ever meet online. They will lie and continue to lie so long as there's the e even the smallest chance that they will profit from it. Um, uh, hold on just one moment. Uh, here's a good question you probably should ask me. Uh, well, wh why haven't I gone to the police with any of these scammers who I've tricked into going to a specific place? Yeah, well, go on. I mean, why, why haven't you had to ask it? ask it. You're ready. We're going to get in. This is very pretty recording this one. <coughs> so why is it the case that you don't just go to the police with these things? Well, I've tried. I've tried going to my local police, to the FBI, to the Cyber Crimes Division of the FBI. I've called the uh, Dublin police, the Canadian police, uh, and everyone I could think of. I've gone to the uh, st uh, state attorney's office, the federal attorney's office. They were all very polite, but basically they told me either it was not their job or they flatly didn't care. I even asked the Cyber Crimes Division of the FBI, and he said that even if he could magically make all these scammers appear in the United States and arrest them, he wouldn't do it because he doesn't think it's worth putting them in jail for. The cost of, of uh, feeding them and clothing them in jail is not worth uh, taking care of. So uh, I, I was just I was, I was just flabbergasted by that. What about the other way around, though? I mean, is what you're doing illegal, Calvin? Because you're dicking them about as well. Uh, actually, that's a good question. Uh, some things that some baiters do can be considered illegal if only technically. For example, uh, recording uh, their voices on the uh, phone can, depending on where you do it, be illegal. And how you do it can be illegal. And also uh, sending them fake ID, depending what kind of ID it is, uh, can also be illegal. For example, if you send them a passport or a driver's license, that is technically illegal. However, uh, I've done a lot of research. Uh, I've been baiting for the last year, and I've been doing research almost that entire time, and never once has there been a case where a, a baiter has gone to jail for something that he's done in the course of a bait. Um, 
However, there was one gentleman who almost went to jail because he made a fake bank online for scammers to send money to. He called himself Fred Flintstone, and he made the Bank of Bedrock uh, a, uh, a fake bank, online bank. The federal government got a hold of it, and uh, he was, um, wasn't arrested, but he was threatened with prosecution for a couple months, and then eventually they told him that uh, they weren't going to prosecute. Uh, but that's the closest I've ever heard of a baiter uh, doing something illegal and having to worry about going to jail for it. Um, how, many, how many baiters do you think there are? Oh, I, thousands and thousands. Uh, there, it also depends on hardcore baiters like myself who uh, uh, try to make it into a living. And then uh, if you go to just by people who just casually do it uh, as a hobby, uh, the number increases to uh, uh, tens of thousands, I bet. No, I've received these emails and I've toyed with the idea of baiting myself, but I imagine that I'd probably do it really badly and get myself into genuine trouble. It's not very hard. Yeah, it's well, but we are talking about actual real criminal gangs who will, if they get the chance, they'll have you. Yes, but you've got to remember, they, they're, the vast majority of them are in Nigeria and almost always in a different country if they're not in Nigeria. For example, if you're in uh, England, they, uh, they'll scam you from the United States, and if you're in the United States, they'll scam you from England. Uh, the reason being is that uh, different nations rarely cooperate with each other, and if you're scamming someone from a different country, you have almost no, uh, there's almost no chance that they will attempt to prosecute you. Right, nice. Do you ever feel sorry for for this scammer? Yeah. Hell no. These are terrible, terrible men. If you ever have the chance to uh, bait them, you will see that they're unscrupulous men of the worst kind. They will do anything they can to get money. If they could get a hold of my mother's bank account, they would wipe it out and then they would uh, ask her for more. There's no, there's no sympathy whatsoever uh, from, from uh, 419L.com. Calvin Huckle. Thanks for being on the show, man. Uh, the world of 419 baiting. Uh, you're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Krang, the night before. That was great, Paul. We, uh, we might steal some uh, audio. Oh, please do. Uh, that would It's uh, especially the one where um, I have the phone sex. Um, I think that's Sweet Candy. That's the one uh, with phone sex is Sweet Candy. The one with victims, you can find near the bottom of the main page uh, called Victim Warnings. Right. And uh, I believe that they wouldn't mind if you use the uh, recordings. Uh, I don't use their real names in the recordings, so no one can track them down anyway. Cool, okay. I'll, uh, I'll make a note of that. Uh, listen, man, good to talk to you. We, we will have to see you again in the future. Okay, great. That'd be wonderful. And all the best to Victoria. Oh, I'll, I'll pass that along. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's doing something yeah. terribly cute right now. I wish you could see it, but she's... I, I, I better call, get her from doing the cute thing. Okay, thank you very much. Right. Thank you, man. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, well, he hung up. I think that interview went very well. I'll have to put that on YouTube.